First of all, we are going to model the equation here into numerical form. So we have the first derivative center type of numerical differentiation. When we differentiate it with respect to x axis, okay, we can use this formula to compute. So for the heat flux in x axis, so based on this formula, negative k prime is remain. So what is the delta t over delta x? So in this case, we are going to compute the delta t over delta x. And for this case, in y direction, we compute the delta t over delta y. So one is uh, in x direction and another one is in y direction. Imagine that you have a point here. So at this point, this is your i data. So to compute the dt over dx at this point, you need the information at i plus 1 and i minus 1. So therefore you can see you need the temperature at i plus 1 and i minus 1 here. So you need also the step size in x axis. So this is quantified as delta x. So since this is the center method, the delta x is 2 delta x in combination. Okay. So with that, okay, if you substitute inside this formula, you are able to obtain the heat flux in x axis. Same thing to do with the heat flux in y axis, where let's say for the same point, your y axis is here, so this is your i point, okay, you want to find what is the dt over dy at this point. So you need the information of the temperature in front of it, which is i plus 1, and backward, okay, before it, i minus 1. So you need to be careful, so it's no longer use the i, i is for the x, so in this case, for j, we are using the j symbol, okay, it should be j, and j plus 1 here, j, and j minus 1. So there's a symbol error here, please correct it. So for the heat flux in x direction, it should be i plus 1, i minus 1. For the heat flux in j direction, the i should be remain constant. Okay, the j will change to j plus 1 and j minus 1. So you need to correct this equation. So the step size in y direction is delta y. So from here, you basically obtain the heat flux in x direction and y direction. So by doing this, okay, you should be able to obtain the resultant. So the resultant is taking the square root, okay, heat flux in x direction square plus heat flux in y direction square. So this is this is actually the magnitude of the heat flux in 2D. If we want to find the direction, okay, so let's say for this case, your heat flux y is positive 10, your x is uh, positive 5. So you can find the direction by using this formula. So you take 10 divided by 5 and then just substitute the arctangent and then you can get the angle. So if you calculate it's approximate 63 degree. So 63 degree, okay, you draw it, 63. So this is the direction for the heat flux. So in general, we can use this formula to find the magnitude for the heat flux and the second formula to compute the direction for the heat flux. You should be able to obtain the temperature distribution in a heater plate if let's say the boundary condition surrounding are given. So you have learned using the Lehman method or the gauss sider method to find the temperature within the body. 
And previously, I show you the heat flux equation, and this can be used to predict the heat flow di direction. For example, in one d case, if let's say you have a cold temperature here and hot temperature on your right hand side, so you can predict that the heat flux is moving to the left hand side from the hot place to the cold place. So this is the direction for your heat flux. Right? So this is for 1D. How about 2D cases here? So for 2D cases, we have two directions, the X direction or the I or the Y direction here, which is indicated by J. If let's say we only have two temperature difference, let's say we remove the other two, so we will simplify, reduce this into 1D problem. And the direction for the heat flow is straightforward where you will move from high temperature to low temperature. So the direction is the same for all the points. How if we have temperature different at all the four corners here? And this will cause a 2D problem. So in this case, can you predict at each point here, what is the heat flow direction? So we are going to investigate this and this is the second rubber that we are going to calculate the direction of the heat flux as well as the heat flux magnitude.